Ganata Mariam is a remote rural village in the Amhara region of Ethiopia. The people here are dependent on subsistence agriculture and animal husbandry for survival. But this is a harsh landscape where drought and soil erosion pose constant threats to productivity. In communities like this one, traditional craft production is still a vital part of the local economy. Ganata Mariam is relatively well known in the region because of the 13th century rock-hewn church situated up on a nearby hill from which the village takes its name. We've come to visit this man, the village blacksmith, who has agreed to demonstrate his iron forging skills here in his tiny workshop on the outskirts of the settlement. The blacksmith's two sons, both apprentice blacksmiths themselves, will be helping their father. One son operates the bellows. These goatskin bags are beaten to force air through two iron pipes, known as two years, into the small charcoal fire set in a shallow dish in the ground. The master blacksmith buries a piece of iron underneath the charcoal. When he decides it's hot enough, he removes the iron from the fire and places it on the anvil, a simple rock, where he directs his other son to strike it with a hammer, beating it into shape. Under the blacksmith's direction, the two years are adjusted to subtly redirect the airflow and ensure maximum efficiency. In many African cultures, ironworking is a highly specialised craft that's passed down from generation to generation. Iron smelting, the process of producing workable iron from ore, is usually subject to strict conceptual controls and taboos. Anthropological research in other parts of Ethiopia has shown that the blacksmith and his family belong to a distinct caste in society. The mysteries of their craft are viewed by the rest of the community with varying degrees of respect, suspicion and even fear.
Although smelting is not practiced here anymore, it is clear that traditional crafts like iron forging are still very important in places like Ganatamaria. But economic development is slowly transforming the needs and expectations of many Ethiopians. It remains to be seen whether or not these ancient skills will still be relevant when it's time for the blacksmith's grandson to take up the hammer.